Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fashion Avenue News and Runway News. We're at Brooklyn Fashion Week, and I have Dwight Eubanks here, who absolutely loves Fashion Avenue News, I hope. <laughs> this is nothing but the Holy Ghost, okay? Congratulations. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you. Now, you just saw the show. What did you think? It was four designers tonight. Any particular ones you like? Well, you know, it was some qu quite inspirational pieces in the show. It was a collective uh, collection, something for everybody, you know. Uh, and that's what makes fashion so interesting is diversity and expression yourself. Fashion is all about an expression. It's all about a feeling. And that's what we saw right here. This was my first time in uh, Brooklyn for Brooklyn Fashion Week. Uh, I was here Thursday night and Thursday was totally different and it was really interesting to see the collaboration of the animals and the animal fashion uh, collection so it's really telling you uh, and dictating to you where we're going with fashion it's a whole package and it's including the pooch Yes, and that was amazing now you just finished a big gigantic fabulous event in Atlanta let's talk about this fabulous event you had everyone there I heard unfortunately I wasn't there but it was amazing talk about it well it was the 100 black women mega chapter fashion show this was their annual fundraiser benefit to benefit the little ladies of Mecca and it's a fundraiser scholarship for underprivileged teens and giving them scholarships we gave them 10 scholarships for college and uh, this was all about legends of fashions and we uh, had 25 amazing collections. I mean, we had designers from everywhere. We had 30-something models from New York, um, 20 makeup artists, 20 hairdressers. So this was a huge undertaking. And to say we had 25 collections, true collections, okay, uh, at one time was a lot, but we had two runways going at the same time. So it was at City Hall in Atlanta, Georgia. and. Um, it, it was just an amazing adventure, uh, really, really excited, and uh, the reviews and the collection was just amazing, and we got to 25 designers because we started out with 10, and then I was here doing Fashion Week in New York, and I was like, I got to have that one, I got to have that one, I got to have that one, so it just kept growing, and it grew out of control, but we're already working on 2015, and uh, we have the Bronner Brothers coming up, we have the... Uh, Caribbean International Fashion Forum coming up starting in May. It's a tour of fashion co competition between the islands and the United States. And uh, we'll go to 10 different islands and we would combinate um, in New York doing the United Nations Summit. So we're really excited about that. It's about including the, the islands into fashion because they have so much creativity that has not been explored and that's what this forum is about. We did not call it a fashion week because we're merging buyers into it, fabric makers, pattern makers, and manufacturing is what our focus is. It's not just showing a collection, but getting the collection into the people hand that needs it and uh, showing them how to develop their line. And so we, and when we show a collection, we're taking them from the runway into manufacturing and we have some sources in, Atl in New York, sources in China and uh, Dominican Republic. So it's about pulling together resources of over 30 years in the industry and pulling them together then and making it happen and that's what's important. It's so often that we know who the mainstream designers are but we don't know who these people are on these stages so that's why it's so important for me to go out and to see the emerging designers and publications like this to explore our history. And until we tell our history, we can't expect for anybody else to understand it. And to under, part of showing that and expressing that is understanding where you come from. And that's what the legend of fashion is all about. We saluted B. Smith, Beverly Johnson, Pat Cleveland, Ivor Chan. Last year we honored Coco, Lou, Magic, and Pearl. These are all legends in the industry. Willie Smith, uh, Patrick Kelly, and, and I mean the list goes on and on and on. So this is about building up that brand. I'm so excited about it. I'm always delighted to be here in New York. 
Well, it's a pleasure to have you, Dwight, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Perhaps you saw a couple of designers you might want to put into the legend. Absolutely. Always looking for new people, and, you know, that's the why it's so important for me to come out and to see it. It's one thing to see it on the books or on the Internet, but to see it close up and in person is totally different. And that's why I go out on the venture, going to Africa, and just exploring the world and seeing the possibilities. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking time to speak with me. We're at Brooklyn Fashion Week. I'm here with Dwight Eubanks reporting for Runway News and Fashion Avenue News. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back in just a moment.